What is up guys, it is Duke, and today we are hanging out over at one of my newest clans that I'm going to be having the pleasure of covering here in the Circle of Clans family. It is a Macedon. These guys are CWL War Specialists. It's going to be a pleasure getting in there, checking out their attacks, see about how they go about their business. And right now we're going to be looking at Town Hall 9 phased attacks here in this CWL war against Guy Hazi Bomber J. It was a 72 to 70 victory. Very impressive victory here. As you can see, they pulled it off. It was a very good war for both sides, but Macedon was a little bit stronger today. So we're going to be looking at Town Hall 9. We have an update dropping very soon. I'm sure you guys already know. It's all over the place. Uh, so many big things going on with the clan games, with war, different adjustments here at the, the home village which of course everybody likes and in war so it's going to be interesting to see what happens town hall nine is going to be having a level nine uh, at level four pekka is going to be unlocked there which is going to be awesome super excited to see how these guys and how you guys at home are you planning on using that pekka in your attacks can anybody say grundinator but we're going to be looking at phased attacks here we're going to see how things are implemented as far as the first phase, second phase, when to go ahead and deploy your second part of the attack. These ones have to have some patience. So Martin, we're going to check out his patience here. As you can see, he's going to be going with the Shatter Lalo hit here. One of my favorites. It is definitely one that is uh, prompts you to use a lot of patience. So we got one golem coming down over on the top there. You're going to see another one coming in over towards the right near that mortar. Which, uh, which that uh, golem will go right to. Now, of course, he's got Wizzies. Wizzies are going to clear out all that garbage on the back end there. Really, it enables the heroes and the bowler CCs just to come in there. We can see the wall breakers are going to be coming in right where that uh, wizard tower is. And once they punch through, the main objective of your initial phase of the phased attacks is to uh, take out the clan cow. So as you can see right there, we got babies, we got witches coming out. And then once you get through here, you want to really see if you can get to that queen. It's all the way on the other side. But since this is a an air attack, you want to see how many of these air defenses you can do. We got a lot of uh, DPS right there in the center going on so we got one air defense down clan castle down a lot of ob objectives have already been crossed off the list here but this queen she's going to go to work let's see what she does she takes out that uh, elixir storage which was in a good spot turns and tries to take out the second air defense which she does now it looks like she is going to get torn up a little bit before he's able to pop the ability but that's fine. We have a houndage over top of that left air defense. Haste spells, which are all the rage in the game. A little bit of a play on words here. So the haste spells are humongous here. But as you can see, the the, the hound and the loons are going to be ripping across right over that queen. They're going to pop her down in a second here. And we have that one air defense left. Patience by Martin keeping the back end loons here, which is perfect because that allows the uh, the Teslas to focus in on that hound and to go ahead and have those loons just drop those bombs and take out uh, those Teslas, which is huge because now all we have left really that is uh, threatening to air is that archer tower, which is not going to be a problem at all because there's very little health left on it. We have some air skellies, which it looks like the, uh, the pups are going to turn. They're going to take care of them. So right now, that is it. So a very good by number 16 Martin going up and taking out one of the top Town Hall 9s with Taj. So extremely good hit here. Tons of patience, A, to be able to go ahead and drop the initial phase, which is the shattered part of the attack, but then also go through bring in the second phase of the attack which is the air portion but also to save some back end loons here i know when i was uh, when i was doing my town hall 9 attacks i was throwing everything out uh, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but that's the way how, how I roll. Just go ahead and hammer it all down. We got uh, Azazel coming in now with another cool attack here. We got a couple different things. We got baby drags going over there to create a nice funnel. We got wizards creating funnels. This is a very spread out base. So he's able to use uh, some of those troops allotted to take care of the garbage on the outside. So we got the two golems and the shatter proportion coming down here. We got one going at that compartment up where the... Uh, Archer Towers are, and then we have another one down there where the outlying mortar, which is really for uh, some of those uh, some of those witch attacks. So no witch slaps here. We got uh, 
phased uh, shattered attack right now. So he's got the heroes down. He's got the bowlers in the CC. He's got a nice path for these guys to go through. Jump spells. You can see we got four air defenses. Now there's only three kind of right in the row. We have the clan castle right there, and we have the queen. So the queen is uh, basically done. She is out. So that is all she wrote. We got a nice little Tesla farm up top here. But as you see, there's only two air defenses left. It looks like those bowlers are going to try and get through and maybe get at that third air defense. And it looks like they're going to with a couple more throws. It is down, and they were even able to reach the back end. So before the air portion of this what the attack was even uh, released here, all the air defenses are down. So this is uh, this means doom for, uh, for AUNP. So uh, good ones here. So Walking Dead. Uh, we got a little bit of a uh, uh, notification here. So my, my tank is full. I don't know if any of you guys are playing that, but forgot to turn that notification off. But now comes the loons, and right now there's nothing left but really some uh, some of these point defenses. We got that expo firing away, and we have that wizard tower there. We have a haste spell, and we have a few uh, minions for uh, cleanup because right now, sometimes you can overkill a base. So right now, uh, with uh, Azazel went in, and he overkilled this base pretty much. And there's a ton of cleanup on these hounds. As far as the overkill on a Lalo hit, you have these hounds which did not pop, which means there's no pups for cleanup. So that sometimes could be an issue with time. So he's uh, going to go ahead and release those minions. But right now, it is a good thing that those loons went and spread. Sometimes you have massive uh, formations of loons which hover around your base. But right now, we have a good little uh, triple set, which, which is a good thing because it could be bad. It could have been really bad. As far as time goes, you go in, you smash a base, but then you get hurt by the time, which uh, could be an issue. But this was a, a really, really smashing attack uh, by Big A over here, doing his thing. As you can see, uh, Town Hall 9, it is still very strong with, with the Shattered style hits, going in with these phase style. Like I said, patience, patience, patience is always the key when you're running these style attacks. So 99, 100 perfect hit here so uh beautiful style so these these loons and these uh these lava hounds are still tearing up these bases here so another one that we're going to jump in is by the animal let's see if the animal can drop another one so we have another shattered hit here that is what we're talking about here we're talking about phased shattered style hits so we got one golem coming down on that cannon and another golem coming down on this mortar wizards on the back end there creating a nice little pathway because as you can see the wall breakers are going to come down right at that cannon or right at yeah right at that cannon there and then see if they can get through out comes the valkyries and the baby dragon wizard so we got one two three four in a line row of uh, air defenses similar but a little bit of a different base layout so we got a, a good handful of um wizard towers over there but let's see the queen is in the way she is going to go down he's going to jump right over to where the other two air defenses are let's see if the queen and the king can make their way over get rid of maybe three maybe four bowlers went their way actually his queen is going around the side there so it is up to the king and he's going to go through and he does not take down that third air defense but he has a nice deployment of these loons coming down from the left-hand side of the base. Meanwhile, Queen and the, the bowlers are on the right-hand side doing their thing, just tearing things up over here. So nice use of the haste. Let's see if he's going to go ahead and drop another one here. We have an, uh, an air mine bomb going off there, but he actually is going to heal up those loons. And meanwhile, the, we got some back-end loons coming through and is going to take out that final air defense. So nothing really left but the expo at this point and some of those uh, trash cans that, that blow against these uh, balloons. But they're going to go down quick. And this one is all she wrote. We got some nice uh, hounds going, nice pups over there doing their thing in the cleanup. <clears throat> down the bottom, we still have the queen taking out the uh, the outlying building. So that that is it. So very strong. Love seeing how these guys use these phased attacks here instead of just throwing every down in maybe like a like a witch, style, witch slap style fashion or like a mass hog raid. Uh, but right now, that seems to be uh, that seems to be key because if you can do your phase style attacks down here at Town Hall Nine, once you move up to Town Hall Ten, Town Hall Eleven, Town Hall Twelve, who knows? You guys are going to have to learn to be able to have patience 
to be able to know when to deploy your troops and know pathing of where they're going. So, uh, like I said, hats off to these guys over at Macedon doing their thing. Lots of good things to come up. Uh, but let me know. Make sure you subscribe for more of it. We got update coming. It's going to be big time. Uh, let me know down below. Are you hype about it? I know I am. Some cool things coming around the corner from Supercell and Clash of Clans. And we will catch you guys later.